How can you use proportional reasoning to convert customary and metric units of measure? Think about this question during the lesson. Tyrell is using a kit to build a robot. The directions use metric units and describe the robot's height as 2 meters tall. About how many inches is 2 meters? Round to the nearest tenth. When relating customary and metric units, Exact whole number conversions are rare. The table shows approximate equivalence. One way to solve the problem is to use proportional reasoning to find an equivalent rate when converting meters to inches. A meter stick may be useful to help visualize and solve the problem. Write the height of the robot in meters. First, identify the conversion rate that relates to the measurement. One meter is approximately equal to 39 and 37 hundredths inches. Find an equivalent rate. How can you decide what value to multiply by to find the number that goes in the box? Because the bottom term in the conversion rate is 1, multiply by the bottom term in the ratio, 2. So, multiply both terms of the rate by 2. Round to the nearest tenth of an inch. So, 2 meters is approximately equal to 78 and 7 tenths inches. Here is another way. Use dimensional analysis to convert meters to inches. Include measurement units when you multiply by a conversion factor to find an equivalent rate. What conversion factor should you use? Select your answer. Why is the conversion factor written as 39 and 37 hundredths inches over 1 meter instead of 1 meter over 39 and 37 hundredths inches? The conversion factor is written so common units can be divided out. Multiply by the conversion factor, also known as the ratio. Cross out the common units to simplify. Crossing out the common units leaves only the units needed to solve the problem. Round to the nearest tenth of an inch. So, 2 meters is approximately equal to 78 and 7 tenths inches. 78 and 7 tenths inches is about 6 feet 7 inches tall. How can you check the answer by estimating? You can round 39 and 37 hundredths to 40, so the answer should be close to 80 or 2 times 40. Jafari is building a robot named T3X that is 6 and 25 hundredths feet tall. To the nearest tenth, how many centimeters tall is T3X? So we have to look back at the example and it showed us that one foot was equal to 30 and... 48 hundredth centimeters. So we have to convert that 6 and 25 hundredths feet to centimeters. So you would take 30 and 48 uh, centimeters and divide, uh, put it over 1 because that's your conversion factor they talked about in the example and we're going to multiply 6 and 25 hundredths on both uh, so, well, multiply it so that we can get rid of the feet and then once we get rid of the feet all we have left is multiplying 
because that would be essentially over 1 as well. And then you multiply the 6 and 2500 times the 30 and 48 centimeters. Uh, when you uh, multiply those together, you get 190 and 5 tenths centimeters. So T3X is 190 and 5 centimeters tall. Jenna's Florida softshell turtle weighs 21 pounds. What is her turtle's approximate weight in kilograms? Round to the nearest tenth. When you look at the table, they give us the conversions from uh, customary to metric. And then we have to use this to help us convert from the um, pounds to kilograms. So 21 pounds um, is equivalent or approximately equivalent to um, 2 and 22 pounds is equivalent to 1 kilogram. And so we take the one kilograms because we want our answer to be in kilograms. That's why the one is on top. And then we put the two and 20 hundredths pounds on the bottom. That's our conversion factor. And then the pounds cancel out. And then we have uh, left over multiplying the 21 over one. That's 21. And then you have the two and 20 hundredths at the bottom. And then we divide and we get approximately nine and five kilograms uh, of the weight of that turtle. And so this number is, when you do it in your calculator, it would be a much longer decimal, but they rounded it to the nearest tenth. So that's how we got nine and five tenths kilograms for that soft shell turtle. If Deva drank all the water in her bottle, how many cups of water did she drink? Round to the nearest tenth. As you can see, they have highlighted the one liter is approximately one and six hundredths quart. Uh, they also highlighted one pint is equal to two cups and one quart is equal to two pints. Um, we need all three of these because we have to find um, how many cups of water she drank, but they gave us the amount in liters. So there is no direct conversion from liters to cups. So we need all three of these until we can get down to our uh, cups. And so first step is to take the one liter is approximately one and six hundredth quart and multiply that by the 75 hundredths liter. Um, and we put it over one liter because we want our uh, end result to be quarts. So the liters is on the bottom. They cancel out. We multiply them together and we get zero and seven hundred ninety five thousandths. And then we need to take that because it's going to give us quarts and so now we take the quarts look at our conversion chart again and quarts to pints so now we're going to do step two step two we have to take that um 795 quarts and uh let me back up this is equal to one quart and two pints um we have here that one pint is equivalent to two cups, but um, we have here that one quart is equivalent to four cups because we have combined two pints instead of just the um, one pint. So that's why that is four cups instead of the two cups you see here in the chart. So now the next step would be to take the four cups. You place it on the top because we want 
cups to be our final uh, form of measurement, then we cancel out the quarts, multiply the 795 thousandths times four, and that will equal the three and 18 hundredths cups. And so now we have converted the liters into the cups. So to the nearest tenth, they would drink about three and two tenths cups of water. Find the area of a 12 square yard room in square meters. Use one square yard equals nine square feet and one square meter approximately 10 and 76 hundredths square feet. Round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so we're gonna do very similar steps to what was in the example. We have um, 12 square yard, and we want to have our final answer in meters. So it gives us the conversion. Let me choose a different color. It gives us the conversion of one uh oh. Of one square yard is equal to nine square feet, and one square meter is approximately ten and seventy six hundred square feet. At the end of this, we have to um, make sure that we round to the nearest hundredth. So let's get started with the math. First, we have to um, take our feet and we uh, of the conversion factor, and we want the nine square feet to be on top and the one square yard on the bottom. We have our yards and we have our feet. And so we're gonna multiply that by 12. So when we multiply by 12, There we go. We multiply that by uh, 12. And then that's 12 yards. I forgot to add that. Let me choose a different color. Our yards will cancel out. And then we're left with multiplying 12, 12 times 9. Okay, and then 12 times 9 is 108 and that would be 108 feet now we want to take the feet and we want to get the feet to meters so we look at our second um, conversion factor right here and then we want it to be in meters so we put 10 and 76 hundredths Square, square feet at the top and then we put our one oh I'm so sorry I made a mistake and mistakes happen I want my one square meter on the top because remember you put on top the measurement that you want in the end. So we want meters. So that one square meter at the top and then the 10 square feet at the bottom. I'm sorry, 10 and 70. Uh, I messed that up. 10 and 76 um, hundredth square feet. And we're gonna multiply this by 100 and eight 
feet. Excuse my writing. It's not the best. Um, <clears throat> so then the, let me choose a different color. Uh, there we go. Um, so we're going to cancel our feet, our square feet, and we're left with meters. And then I have now a hundred and eight. Let's imagine this is over one. And so I have a hundred and eight times one is 108 and then 10 times one is 10 so we have that and this is meters well it's going to be meters in the end and so we divide 108 and 10 and uh, let's see and I keep only wanting to write 10 but it's 10 and 70 Oh, I'm so sorry, guys, about this writing. It's not cooperating with me right now. Um, this is 10 and 76 hundredths. And then when you divide 108 and 10 and 76 hundredths, you actually get a decimal that's quite long. Um, it's 10 and 0 three seven one seven and it keeps going it tells us to round to the nearest hundredth so our hundredth place is this is our um that's the tenths that's the hundredths so we want it to our hundredths place so i'm going to look next door to the seven and it's five or more so that means my three goes up to the next number so my final answer would be ten and four hundredths meters and we have finished our conversion